Do you remember the first time you watched Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? Perhaps you were captivated by the unforgettable chemistry between Paul Newman and Robert Redford. Or maybe you were struck by the film's unique blend of humor and drama. This 1969 classic has left a lasting impact on many, and it's not hard to see why. But have you ever thought about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? Did it inspire you in some way, or perhaps evoke strong emotions that have stayed with you over the years? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's dive into some random facts about this iconic film, which continues to captivate audiences to this day. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, directed by George Roy Hill, is a Western classic known for its sharp wit, thrilling action, and a score by Burt Bacharach that's as iconic as the film itself. The movie tells the story of the legendary outlaws Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid as they try to outrun the law. The film was a box office hit and received critical acclaim, earning four Academy Awards, including Best Original Screenplay. It remains a beloved piece of cinema history, and its impact on popular culture endures. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation going. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, a 1969 Western film directed by George Roy Hill, is an iconic classic that follows the real-life exploits of two legendary outlaws, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. The story revolves around their daring bank and train robberies, their encounters with law enforcement, and their eventual escape to South America to evade pursuit. What sets the film apart is its unique blend of humor, camaraderie, and action, as well as its use of contemporary music and innovative cinematography. The on-screen chemistry between Newman and Redford is undeniable, contributing to the movie's enduring popularity. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid made a significant impact on popular culture, becoming a touchstone for the buddy film genre and inspiring countless homages and parodies. Its iconic final standoff remains one of the most memorable moments in cinematic history, and the film's themes of friendship, rebellion, and the inevitable march of progress continue to resonate with audiences today. A true classic that combines charm, wit, and adventure, Butch Cassidy, and the Sundance Kid is a timeless masterpiece in the world of cinema. Watch for what may be an outtake intentionally used in a bank robbery montage for the sequences in Bolivia. Featured with only a Burt Bacharach score to accompany it, Etta and Sundance enter a bank where, immediately, an untruous bank manager insists on taking them to the basement bank vault to demonstrate its security. He unlocks a cell containing a safe and opens it, whereupon, behind the manager's back, Etta hands Sundance a pistol. The manager is cornered and Etta raids the safe. The manager, his hands up, is locked in the cell, leading to some confusion concerning the keys which is the moment Redford decides to hand his gun to Ross and suddenly walk off, causing her to break up with laughter. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is a 1969 classic Western film. That's not just about bank heists and daring escapes, but also cleverly inserted moments of humor and camaraderie. It's known for its use of contemporary music and innovative cinematography. This iconic film, directed by George Roy Hill, has left a lasting mark in cinema history, and the chemistry between Paul Newman and Robert Redford on screen is undeniable. It's a timeless masterpiece that continues to resonate with audiences today, exploring themes of friendship, rebellion, and the inevitable march of progress. And interestingly, the movie features a memorable outtake that adds to its unique charm and wit. Paul Newman, who played the role of Butch Cassidy in the 1969 movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, once praised director George Roy Hill for his decisive approach to filmmaking. According to Newman, Hill never displayed any hesitation or indecision on set. He knew precisely what he wanted in a scene and what he wanted from an actor. This confidence and clarity in direction contributed to the success of the film, making it a classic in the Western genre. The chemistry between Paul Newman and Robert Redford, who portrayed the Sundance Kid, added to the film's enduring popularity. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid is known for its blend of humor, action, and camaraderie, as well as its innovative cinematography and use of contemporary music. 
It's a timeless masterpiece that continues to resonate with audiences today, exploring themes of friendship, rebellion, and the inevitable march of progress. And all of this was made possible by the skillful direction of George Roy Hill, as recognized by Paul Newman himself. Paul Newman, initially hesitant about a comic role in the 1969 movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, found his way to a level of wry humor that fit the character, thanks to director George Roy Hill's guidance. This classic Western film, also known for its iconic chemistry between Paul Newman and Robert Redford, has left an enduring mark in cinema history. Additionally, Paul Newman's charity for children with serious medical conditions is named Hole in the Wall Camp after Butch's gang. It's a timeless masterpiece that continues to resonate with audiences today, exploring themes of friendship, rebellion, and the inevitable march of progress. All of the Bolivia scenes in the 1969 movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were actually filmed in Mexico. During the shoot, most of the cast and crew, along with director George Roy Hill, fell victim to Montezuma's revenge due to drinking Mexico's notoriously polluted water. However, Robert Redford, Paul Newman, and Catherine Ross avoided this fate by refusing to drink the water catered on the set and sticking to soda and alcohol. This unexpected turn of events didn't deter the film's success, as it went on to receive great word of mouth and gained enthusiastic audiences. It's a testament to the film's enduring popularity and the dedication of its leading actors. The song Raindrops Keep Fallin' on My Head was written after the rough cut was completed, and when Robert Redford first saw it in the movie, he thought it was terrible. The agents for singer B.J. Thomas regretted letting him do it and thought it would ruin his career. In the 1969 movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, the iconic song Raindrops Keep Fallin' on My Head almost didn't make it into the film. It was written after the rough cut of the movie was completed, and Robert Redford, one of the film's stars, initially had doubts about its inclusion. In fact, he thought the song was terrible when he first saw it in the movie. Even the agents for singer B.J. Thomas, who performed the song, had concerns and thought it might harm his career. Despite these reservations, the song went on to become a memorable part of the film's soundtrack, and it even won an Academy Award for Best Original Song. This unexpected success is a testament to how things in the movie business don't always go as planned, and sometimes, even the most skeptical decisions turn out to be the right ones. This behind-the-scenes story of raindrops keep falling on my head adds an interesting layer to the legacy of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, showcasing how the creative process in filmmaking can be full of surprises. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey, I invite you to pause for a moment and reflect on your personal connection with the 1969 classic, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. This iconic film has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many, each viewer weaving their unique thread of memories and emotions into its rich tapestry. Perhaps you were captivated by the camaraderie between Butch and Sundance, finding in their friendship a reflection of your own bonds. Maybe the sweeping landscapes of the American West transported you to a time long past, where outlaws and adventurers roamed. Or it could be that Burt Bacharach's memorable score still resonates in your mind, serving as the soundtrack to your own life's escapades. Whatever your connection may be, we encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or insights about this timeless classic. Join the conversation, relive the moments, and celebrate the enduring legacy of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Thank you for sharing this cinematic voyage with us and for your time and interest in the world of storytelling. Until our next adventure, stay tuned for more captivating tales.